Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to do a quick video here with the uh, Flipper Zero and some uh, eye buttons. I've got my uh, real sophisticated eye button system set up here with uh, two readers and an actuator, and of course our Flipper Zero. So when an eye button touches either reader, it'll just uh, throw the actuator here. Now I've uh, got two tags here. Neither one of them right now is actually programmed. Uh, black one is the master, so we're going to go ahead and program the blue one, and then we'll copy it with the flipper and emulate it. So to program it, just touch the reader, get single beat for uh, confirmation, exit programming, and if you watch the actuator here, if I touch either reader, I'll actually uh, throw the uh, actuator here. And now we can actually use our flipper zero, and we can actually copy it. So what we're going to do with the flipper, I will go to... Uh, I button, and we'll go ahead and just go to read. And now I got our pins on the back. It's labeled GPIO 17, which just corresponds to GPIO 17 on top here. And we we'll just touch it in there, and it'll uh, vibrate and beep saying that it read it. So now from here, I can save it, emulate it, or write it. Although I've had the writing part work very intermittently. And if anybody has any tips on that, you can leave it in the comments because I'm, I'm curious. I've had it work maybe like one out of 50 tries. Uh, saving it though, quick something, fine. And then so we go into here, we'll go to uh, emulate. Now the flipper, I think you're supposed to be able to just actually take it and put it into the readers, but I've tried this every which way you can try. And I think like a lot of us, the pins just come up a little bit short and it can't reach. Uh, so it won't work that way. At least mine seems to won't on either style reader there. Uh, workaround on that though is you can take some 22 gauge solid core wire and you can use the GPIO pins on top here. Um, you know, 17 is what corresponds with the bottom, and then 18, of course, is ground. And on I button, the positive is going to be inside the reader, and then the outside ring is the negative, so it's emulating. And if you just touch it, it actually will throw the actuator. So that's a little bit of a workaround for it. And then, uh, so that, that's uh, just copying a uh, I button and then emulating it. And then, like I said, you're supposed to be able to write these, uh, but I've had that work uh, hardly ever. Uh, so, I mean, we'll try it real quick here. I don't think it's going to work, but basically what you would do is hit write ID, take an unprogrammed you know, I button here, and you should just have to touch it right here, and it should actually work. But like I said, I've not had much success with that. I've got a few more we can... We can try real quick here. And these are rewritable. I have I do have an I button reader, copier, writer, standalone thing that does write these, so I know they're writable. But it I just for some reason with the flipper here, it just it sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. A couple more I can try here just for the video's sake here, but like, I don't know if it's these, uh, these I, well, I don't know. I mean, these I buttons, I have had a few of them actually work with the flipper. They all work with the reader writer. So, I don't know if anybody has any insights on that. Uh, I would love to know if you want to leave me a comment. I would, you know, love to know what people's thoughts are on that. But, uh, I don't think I've got anything else here for the I buttons. If you have any uh, other questions or comments, of course, uh, put them in the comments. And I think that's enough, uh, talking for now. We'll uh, talk to everybody later.